everybody does the four alarms right to wake up yeah yeah i do four to wake up yeah i have my mother in law i have my father in law my sister in law and aditya wake uh, me <laughs> Huh. But uh, what I do is uh, the first one is no vibration. Okay. And the second one is a slightly slight vibration, Loud. slight volume. Hmm. Third one is vo- full volume and annoying vibration tone. Instead of the pam, yeah. it's like pam 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 pam. ऐसा vibrate हो रहा हो. And the last one is like full blast of annoying vibration and the most annoying song I have. Akash, and then you worry why you have anxiety the whole day. Can <laughs> 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 wake up like this? You just want to be shocked out of bed. You no, don't want to be woken the, up. It's like a for me. It's not. It's like a fail proof. It's like an alarm. Yeah, yeah but that is <laughs> the but, idea. Is I very rarely have to wake up to it because usually I wake yeah. up before it. Yeah. But like I don't wanna. Like today, I had to be here at a certain time. So then, tabi. Yeah, makes sense. I don't put an alarm anymore unless and until it's a really early morning flight because, like, I don't want to be alarmed when I wake up. Like, I want to be calm when I wake up. Like, But I want to wake up like it's a sure nice day. How do you make sure you wake up at a certain time? Because the sun falls on my eyes. Or like you know, I live. The thing is, honestly, I live on the ground floor, right? So the watchmen start talking, <laughs> and the car starts getting washed. So I wake up automatically. Oh fucking early, early that is. Yeah, I wake up really early. <laughs> because all thanks to my watchman, he has changed my. He has changed my sleep cycle without hey, me even wait, wanting to. Hey, wait, are we rolling to. or not rolling? What the fuck is going on? I hope we have been rolling this whole time. <laughs> Yes, continue about your watchman affecting your sleep cycle. What a clickbaity title for this episode. Welcome to Akash and Friends you guys. We've been talking about how Sonali can't sleep properly at night anymore because of her watchman. Like the first the first time I I was sleeping and like Aditya and I had just gotten married and I I was I was I've always been always been a second floor person. So and my colleague doesn't have a watchman. Okay, it is not a cooperative housing society. Right. It is just a bunch of people who happen to it's, live it's there. one of those pagadi systems you know right. so then they don't put the watchman yeah. so um, i'm new to this watchman concept and i'm new to the ground floor concept yeah. so the watchman was talking and i just woke up and i'm like what is this and he was talking like chapat 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 to this lady and he like hari singh is talking to his girlfriend and i'm like why are you so normal about it <laughs> <laughs> this is not <laughs> like half the first 6 months is just gone in telling the watchman like awaaz dheema karo awaaz dheema karo <laughs> or oh, just talk somewhere else Huh? Talk somewhere else. Don't talk right outside the. Yeah, but then the thing is, the gate is there, and they sit there. So all the drivers and like all the watchmen like jam, you know. So social. You know, there's a, a guy who my my uh, he used to work at my aunt's house. Huh. Okay, and then he learned how to drive. Right. And he worked for like some ten fifteen years. Huh. And then he had a fight with my aunt. Huh. So uh, uh, the like you know, and he and it was like one of those fights where I'm like, wow, like these both both parties are equally emotionally hurt right now. <laughs> About this fight, yeah, and uh, so he quit. Oh fuck! My aunt's house, and huh. he joined my house. <laughs> okay, because my mom is like, listen, uh, you're too reliable a person. Yeah, you've been working with us for so many years. Yeah, isn't that? now he drives. Who's in the manus chair? So now he drives uh, huh. uh, for dad driving dad off his yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Now he started a side business. Okay. Of uh, running like VCs and running little little like cooperative. He became a venture capitalist. No, not those VCs, oh. but he kind of those VCs, like on a ground level. And what so, was the work he was doing again? He was jadu pocha, and then he. Moved How much to, was his salary, Akash? No, so the beauty of it is, what he he would do is he would go and talk to eight, ten different oh, wow. um, other people who would be drivers or whatever nice. uh, occupation, and nice. be like, okay, let's all get together and. Put in our like a chit fund, yeah, like a chit fund, and put in our money, and then each one can borrow at X interest or whatever. It's pretty cool. Now he's been making so much money doing this. He doesn't need to drive for us anymore. Of course. But he continues to. So yeah, I was like, why do you keep doing this? Like you, yeah. you don't need to do this. You, yeah. Like you literally, this was the dream, right? Yeah. You move from Jharkhand to Kolkata, <laughs> Kolkata to Bombay. <laughs> you you used to work at a manual labor site. Now then you worked at someone's house. Yeah. Then you drove the car. Yeah. Now you are a you know you are yeah. moving money around. Yeah. And you like yeah. this, this is the dream. Why are you doing this? Yeah. Like अरे आप समझ नहीं रहे हो दा वो क्या है ना दादा वो वो नया लोग नहीं मिलता है और क्या? And then I realized what he was saying कि वो driver है तो this networking is, yeah, उसका. Yeah yeah oh my god yeah he's his own LinkedIn. <laughs> yeah. So every time he'll drop my dad to yeah. an office. Obviously he'll yeah. drop the dad and now dad has gone up for the meeting. Just yeah. like the other people, but उनके भी driver नहीं थे। And then he's talking. Oh wow! What a audience. guy! <laughs> This is what happens when you're working with a Gujarati family. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Uh, I, uh, if you don't know who Sonali is, I don't blame you, but uh, little bit <laughs> I do. Uh, <laughs> but uh, we've been doing comedy together again from the beginning. Yeah. Uh, 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 in fact, uh, I think you 
Yeah, you, you and I started within I think a couple of months from each other, didn't we? Uh, max a little months. more than that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because Aditya started a little after me, and you started a little after Aditya. I started six months after. And you, oh, so about a year after I started. Yeah. And uh, the uh, 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 and how things have changed. Yeah. <laughs> like the boyfriend was doing stand up is not doing stand up anymore as yeah. such. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. He does it a little bit like yeah. as a hobby uh, in the sense like and I do the same thing as a hobby but as a serious hobby. Oh. Yeah. But then it's <laughs> I mean, it's a hobby, but it's a serious hobby. You know, sir, I think it's more than a serious hobby. Of course, it is. Don't call it a hobby, sir. I'm just, I'm just calling. I'm just telling you what my father thinks it is. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a time when you were doing CA. Yes. And and then you stopped doing CA, and yes. then you danced for a while. Yes. And then I, so this is how I remember it, okay? Because yes. we used to hang out a lot at open mics, and yes. uh, then you stopped CA, you used to dance. You would come from a dance thing to the open yes. mic. You would be the m most fit person at an open mic, like in your <laughs> yoga tights and all, just like fit as fine with the fucking jacket because thandi lag raha hai Yeah. <laughs> I feel like... In fact, this is the first time I've seen you without a hoodie. I know. Since Sahil, it, it, even Sahil's wedding, you got a fucking hoodie or something, no? Yeah, Aditi was like, who is this person? What is this Clark Kent Superman personality you have? <laughs> it's really cold at venues, dude. It is, it is. fucking cold at venues. Yeah. I can say fucking now. Yeah, podcast. you can, you can okay, cast great. as much as you want. Nobody's oh, great, sponsoring this shit. Great, great, great. <laughs> <laughs> so, then uh, then the dancing happened and then at some point you... Uh, what I remember is that I moved to Baroda for two years. Yes. And you travelled the world. <laughs> like, that's how I saw it. You know, like, I was just not busy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, there was not that much, that many shows happening. Like, the scene wasn't as busy as it... Is I now, mean, yeah. Yeah, it is now. Like, it, it, that time it wasn't that busy. So, I was like, you know, let's just make the most of it and let's travel. And I kind of just... I don't know, I was just... You know, that phase where you just want to travel and go out. Also, I never went... I never... I've never lived outside of Bombay other than yeah. my parents. I've never gone out to study or work or something. So for me, that was like the only chance to kind of get independence. Yeah. And, and it, yeah. in the form of solo trips. Yes. In the form of solo trips. Yeah. Also because, but mostly because most of my friends have like, like proper regular jobs. So it wasn't like, they, none of them could come with me for three months to right. Ladakh. <laughs> so, fair. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, yeah, but you still yeah. have to go. Yes. You gotta go. Yes. I got lucky because the travel bug got filled by the comedy touring. Uh, but yeah. it's not obviously not the same kind of yeah. travel in any sense. Yeah. Uh, uh, because this is more of like a labored right. in and out uh, yeah. uh, there on the wrong day of or wrong time of the year to be in that place only. Yes. Because it's a show. Yeah. And 90% of the travel is, is to Ahmedabad, which nobody wants to go to realistically. Yeah. When I travel for shows, honestly, I don't get out of the hotel. I just, I sleep. Yeah. I do the show, maybe get dinner and come back. And then if like I've, if I'm doing a show in a city that I've never been to, then I'll stay one extra day after the show. Yeah. And then I'll explore the city. Yeah. Uh, that's how I've seen most of Hyderabad. Every time I have a show, I stay for like one extra day and see one thing. Like one day I'll see Chomalla Palace. Then next show I'll see like Golconda Fort. Right. I can never sightsee before the show because it makes me feel like I haven't earned it. <laughs> <laughs> like I feel like, what am I doing before the show? Ke pehle? <laughs> so, um, yeah, but it's a different travel. Yeah. yeah. It's, I think, I, dare I say, more fulfilling travel. Hmm. Because you are actually traveling yes, and not yes. uh, transiently there. Yeah, and you're you've not paid for like when you're like going for shows, you've not paid for your air ticket, so it feels even more nice. Like some of the producers <laughs> paid for it. Uh, I I can't uh, get over the idea that that uh, people are willing to pay yeah, to watch. Yeah. Because I I think it's because they didn't see me at Ibar. <laughs> You know what no, I mean? dude, you were damn funny at Ibar. Okay? <laughs> but, <laughs> You've been funny since the beginning. Come on. No, but like, I, I, I would not fly down that guy. You wouldn't fly down the guy who played the uke? Are yeah. you serious? <laughs> I totally would, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we are friends. Uh, yeah. No? <laughs> <laughs> You're telling me you wouldn't fly, fly down the guy whose uh, Twitter name was Fat Man Rambles? No. Yeah. <laughs> what? Akash lost weight and then changed his Twitter handle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I felt like I should not appropriate uh, the word if I'm not that way. Yes. And after a while it became hard to justify. Because yes. they would be like, where is Fat Man Rambles? <laughs> yeah, who is like, this guy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is, it's, it's a happenstance thing. Like that, uh, 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 
should I put this? You know how this scene has too many Sindhis. Uh, <laughs> There was a show once. Do you remember? <laughs> in Sindhi. <laughs> no, there was at a Sindhi so, so yeah, something yeah, yeah. like that at, at Hive. Hive with yeah. Bhavish and Rona, and they had to perform in Sindhi or something. Yeah. No? Oh man, we've really done stand up for a yeah, really long time. <laughs> Who remember this show? <coughs> Do you remember when you would remember shows? Like, and not only because of second hand story. Yeah. This is first stuff. Yeah. Like, Matthew. Yeah, I was, was there. <laughs> Yeah, every mm-hmm. controversy from the I was there. Yeah, I've not heard it from someone. The time Aditi did an all girl open mic for the first time at Habitat. I was there. You were there. You were not above. Habitat. It was at Hive. Sorry, Hive. Sorry, Habitat. Move se nikalta H se. It was on the uh, above. Yeah, I remember. I I produced that gig. Yes, yes, I <laughs> remember. The climate we were in right after the roast. Yes. What an intense time to be alive. And it was full house. Yeah, it was a full house is an understatement. We genuinely thought the building would collapse. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was it a was, great <laughs> show. Dead so, two so log aaya tha. Yeah. Un unrealistic. It was number. unreal. I'd never seen that many people. At any show, <laughs> get open mic. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's so it's ah that's the overwhelming feeling I think gratitude. I yeah. feel is that lineup of people uh, of all the comics from the first uh, ladies open yeah. mic that uh, that list is still there at Hive at Cuckoo Club. It's like framed and kept. Oh yeah, yeah. It's done. Aww. Like every time we st- sit in the green room, we see it. So, that's so yeah. sweet, yeah. dude. That's wonderful. Yeah. I I I don't think I've been a part of a lot of. legendary lineups hmm. but i ended up doing the back end for a lot of those big shows yes <laughs> i'm aware <laughs> yeah i was it was it's it, i don't think nothing anything is harder than being a producer at hive and being an overweight producer at hive because wo jagah itna saakda tha what is sorry saak uh, narrow narrow, narrow tha <laughs> <laughs> do you have an index of words that akash uses at the end of every podcast <laughs> <laughs> Time stamp and then the name no, word. No, but uh, we are uh, the the good thing is that interns have no soul. So uh, <laughs> I've, I'm making Nishat uh, do all the annotations and correct everything that I say wrong in each episode. And, and nice. both of us will ma- hopefully make yes. factual errors. Definitely. <laughs> Looking forward to that. <laughs> <laughs> and now comedy is going well. Yeah. Are you doing anything on the side? You wrote an IFA. Yes. Did you write an IFA? Yes. You wrote an IFA award. Yes. How was that? Um. It was great. This was the first time I have uh, I, I've been a head writer uh, with co other head writers like at the main event. Um, two years before that, I so IFA has two events: IFA Rocks, which is a technical awards, and then IFA Main Event. Okay. राहुल in the formative years of stand up as a writer with EIC yeah. and they used to do a lot of event writing yeah. and i was a you co-writer i mean i was writing yeah i was a lordling yeah you know that right <laughs> so uh, I, and they used to write a lot of like award shows so they used to like during brainstorming sessions we would all write with them yeah so that kind of got the word out to even once EIC stopped writing they would uh, recommend other writers yeah. who are interested in it so that's how i got it and uh, yeah writing projects are fun yeah that's that's what i do on the side yeah but i don't do a lot of writing projects like once in a year i'll take up like a writing project which will have like comics yeah which will be like a three or four month project yeah. which is fun yeah because then you get to jam with comics yeah. and stuff but uh, and also because stand up is such a solitary <laughs> yeah. writing thing yeah. that it's nice for three or four months to jam in the day yeah But then after that I'm done. Like after I, I that I want to like go back to being alone. It's also for a third person's thing. You know what yes. I mean? So it's even yes. easier. Yeah. If we're writing for me or you, it's even weirder. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, agree. That way it makes a lot of sense. But by the end of it, you <clears> must hate it. I mean, for me to hate Bollywood is hard. It's true. Uh, true. But I will be exasperated with the process. Yeah. A uh, lot of checks and balances. A lot of rewrites. Yes, a lot of redrafts. A lot of back and forth. Till like the person who you're writing for is gone on stage. There will be something or the other changing on the prompter. Right. The whole process is a lot of fun, honestly. Yeah. Like it's it's and especially if the writing team is like your friends and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Um, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. That's a good thing about comedy generally. I think hey, इतने कम लोग तो ज़्यादातर लोग दोस्त ही हैं. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Most of them. Like we like we see each other almost every night. Like I see my peers more than I see my family. Yeah. Yeah, so, but I mean, I think it's you're in that golden space because for me, it's like I don't even get to see my peers much because it's mostly solo shows now. Yeah. So even when traveling and all, and yeah, like the like sometimes I'm I'm at a private show and or a college show or something, you know, and 
uh, uh, I've not seen a comic in three days or four days. It's been since yeah. I saw the last comic, yeah. and then I see one like today. This is your opening. I say, "Karke bolay." This is your opening act, sir. Would you allow like to allow him in the green room? I'm not allow, allow. Uh, yeah. Bang, allow. Where did you go? Where did you go? Like I remember. Bhubneshwar you know, ke show mein allow ke sinha karke comic udare. I was like, "Allow ke tu chhodke nahi jayega mere se." Okay, you will be next to me throughout. Now I cannot tolerate these CVs anymore. <laughs> yeah, like I feel like. a comic if he doesn't meet another comic for 3 or 4 months i feel like where are the people i can talk to yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah i don't think anybody understands our experience yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. but i am sure bankers also feel that way <laughs> maybe <laughs> fuck them but they're making way too much money did you <laughs> i don't care if they feel lonely <laughs> did you ever get the uh, uh, familial uh, ca kem chodu uh, so ca ca q choda thing yeah yeah i still get it Oh really? Yeah, I still because I mean you don't comedy is not one of those jobs where parents will be like yeah of course I see why you would choose comedy over CA like it's not one of those <laughs> natural things right? Yeah. Uh, I get it, but I feel like the people who ask me also know the person I am. That's true. And then really like you know what? Yeah, I get it. Yeah. Like before I even say anything. But in, in, at home was it a conversation or was it like a decision on your end? Like was it like hey I think we should I should not do this anymore or was it dad I'm not doing this anymore? I feel like uh, I consciously never made a decision like I just was doing shows and then the scene kept increasing and then I was doing more shows and there was no transition phase for me ki okay now I'm doing this seriously I just kept on doing it yeah and uh, <clears throat> so there was no decision for me to also there was no point where I'm going to tell my family that okay henceforth I'm not going to yeah. do it but uh My mom knew I was doing it, like I was going for shows and stuff. Yeah. But I would do shows and come back home before my father. So my father and I never really had a conversation. Right. And then. How were you? <coughs> your dad must come home really late. Yeah, he works. He works yeah. till or he works till really late. My yeah. my parents are asleep by ten fifteen. No, my dad is a workaholic, and he comes home by like. Eleven, 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 ten. Right. Like oh, now over the years, obviously start coming home earlier. Yeah. But yeah, he's a workaholic. Him and my uncle would both be at the office till really That's late. That's crazy. My na, the problem kya hota tha ki I had audio engineering as well, so I would do the audio engineering ka yeah. class in the evening, night college. <laughs> yeah. Do law oh. college in the morning, night college at night, oh, then wow. do the open mic, and then come home. And the worst part was that you know all through your life you're told you're growing up in town, Akash. This yeah. is your privilege and it's a blessing. <coughs> Not if you have to come back. Yeah. After the trains are shut and you're in fucking college and you can't afford a cab. Yeah. <laughs> so you take a rick till Matunga and then you hope that you can walk a station and then take a cab because otherwise it's going to be a bitch to afford the ride back oh home. Oh my god. Pre Uber and Ola. Yes. Post the age of 18 where I have told my parents vehemently ki main karega comedy aur tumse paisa nahi lega comedy yeah. karne ka. Yeah. Now that became a big issue for me. Like I invariably I would reach at 12:31. There have been times when my dad would just lock the door and be like fuck it don't come home now. Oh shit! Are you serious? Oh my god! Yeah, it it was imperative for me to get home before my father. Yeah. Um, but I think I went on this uh, trek once to Uttarakhand, and my and this you know our comedy uh, our uh, Bible Chitra Lekha, right? Yeah. Gujaratis. So this lady had interviewed me. She'd seen me at a show, and she was like, "Oh, Gujarati girl doing stand up," and she wrote like a two page piece on yeah. me. Yeah. And that came out when I was on the trek, and there was no network there. This is the trek where the floods had happened. Uttarakhand, no, yeah, no, but this, this was a few one. years yeah, yeah, later. Yeah. So no, because I remember the last that time that was in Ladakh. That was in Ladakh. Yeah, yeah. That was in Kashmir. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, so my dad read that article, and from the wordings of that article, my father was like, "So I get a sense that you want to do this <laughs> properly." But yeah, honestly, my father, they've never like. I, it's it was definitely difficult for me to convince them but the thing is my mom like you get this right like so my mom was my mom is also a stock broker which was against the norm at yeah. that time yeah so i feel like she kind of got, got the fact that she wants to do something against the norm but what she didn't get was why are you doing something which is against the norm for almost close to no money <laughs> that is or like something that you have to work your way up yeah. like so yeah. much you know because my mom is like i've done so much i can recommend you for jobs yeah. or some why do you want to do something where what all we worked for will come to no use <laughs> um I yeah so that, she just didn't get the yeah. concept of she got the fact that i wanted to do something against norm but she just didn't get why i would want to give my heart and soul to something where the returns were so far and few yeah because i think the i think 
they went to college right and they didn't count college as an incubator for right. their job later right. but what they don't realize is like if you do ca right that article ship ka saal and yes. you can't marte wo log that's yes. that's the hustle yes passing the exam is the hustle yes this is a very different this is a different hustle it's not a quantifiable hustle yes. so you still need the five like of i would course. say Eight years in this, I can say I'm like a bachelor's degree worth of yeah. with a yeah. with a good apprenticeship I've done. Yeah. Utna mere ko knowledge hai. This is a better way to put what my like the yeah hmm. what I was thinking. But yeah, on a broader sense, even in my mind was like I've given so many years to see. Let me give at least that many, if not more or less, that many years to comedy and see where it takes yeah. me. Um, and at that time, I was just giving myself a pep talk, you know, one life and all of that. <laughs> Let's just see where it goes, types. Um, Hindus have multiple. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what all I've done in this month in this gen, gen, Janam dude. I don't know if I'm going to get another life. Um, hey, as long as you don't have to come back as a Pomeranian, I think. Hey, what's wrong with them, man? Tuffy oh, had a great a life, I think. Huge problem with Pomeranians. <laughs> huge problem with Pomeranians. I once punched a Pomeranian. How old? I will not lie. How old were you? I was 11, 12 years old. Okay. I don't. Okay no no I feel like this requires some explanation because otherwise people will think I'm a monster and I'm not a mon- I've sometimes but uh. <laughs> I was a fat you can imagine yes. I I was a fat guy when you met me but I was like a gulab jamun okay right? like literally brown brown Haan. gulab jamun and Haan. I used to play cricket and ye log na piche ball maar dete the yeah तो कौन लेने जाएगा जिसको सबसे ज्यादा एक्सरसाइज का जरूरत है yeah. तो विंडो का ग्रिल बार्किंग एंड पिकअप दर्किंग एंड लुक एट दैट पॉमरेनियन लाइक यू पीस अट पॉमरेनियन आई हेट यू यू बार्क एट मी एवरी टाइम आई कम दिस वेंट ऑन फॉर सेवर प्रॉब्लम barking at me but at just me. barking yes now you had a problem with the dog doing what it's supposed to well listen <laughs> i don't know, i don't uh, what manual you are reading about dogs but i don't know but i they need to come with an off button because if this just goes every time it sees me i'm going to feel scared i'm an 11 year old kid i've never had a dog you punched a fucking you don't, the story. don't use you don't, your wait age wait don't look at don't judge the story by the end of the story <laughs> okay uh-huh. judge the story by what happened what uh-huh. led to the end Now I went to one day, such a day. I went to get the ball, and this dog is already standing around the corner, and he's barking. Yeah. But I, so I, I don't enter the building, cause he's just like oh, towards okay. me. Then I notice, ha, oh, gale me chain. Oh, he he's tied. You? No, no, he's tied. Oh, okay. The huh. dog is tied. Oh, the dog is tied. Huh. Came and ha, ha, he ha. got pulled back. I said, oh. that's not nice. But hey, at least I can get my ball. <laughs> you now. did not think that's not nice. Okay. I you did I not that's think great. that. I thought that's great. I was very happy. <laughs> I in fact I went like, to him. Like God, Maruka, we were scared. Yeah, yeah. I, I went up to the dog and I said, "Eh, and all." I said, "There is no insulin, nahi and all." Uh, and and then I took the ball, and then I went, eh, and I realized that he, uh, pata nahi kya hua, but he was running behind me. How did that? So pata? apparently, no, he was running behind me. He was not tied. Oh, maybe he was teasing you. Maybe he, he was teasing me, me. Let me make fool you into thinking that I am tired yeah. and see what you gonna do. So now I am running up a slope. Oh, that's difficult. My fucking jala, gulab jamun running up a slope, dude. Yeah. And the store people are watching that this guy is running behind him, behind the dog. Everyone is laughing. Okay, just. I'm just drinking sugar syrup juice. Like, <laughs> and I'm sweating. So it's like it's like a gila gila gulab jamun coming out. Oh wow! And I'm running all the way up, and, they, and and then this dog, you know, finally cornered me. Obviously, yeah. caught up. And then it just sat, like I sat on the ground, and I said, "Okay, fine. Now I'm going to eat me. I guess that's what happens." Eat now. you? I I don't know. I I had a dog. <laughs> You thought dogs eat people. Who knows what a dog uh, will do? So then, then uh, I, you know, I felt very scared. Yeah. So I just kind of did this, and he just licked my hand. Right. So I'm like, oh, oh, you, you are not right. Angry or play? Because I didn't understand the tail was wagging the whole time. So I didn't yeah. know that that's like the thing. The so, love sign. Like, hey, yeah, I like I, you. I like you. So I'm like, oh, this is great. So I'll just give uh, you the ball. Yeah. You know, uh, 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 and we can play. And as hmm. soon as I went for the ball. Like when to give him the ball, the dog tried to lick my face, which was now. Nah, listen, we just met, okay? Like yeah, I, I don't even, bit. I don't even know about your species. <laughs> I don't know what you're into. Straight up, lick my face. I punch you. So I punch the dog. 
Wow. Yeah. And then the dog was very confused. Why do I feel like you just justified it right I'm not, now? <laughs> I'm not. I was very you scared. You just justified it on like, you know. I I I was very scared and uh, I had no choice. I had to punch yeah. the motherfucker in the face. What a great story okay. to end the yeah. first half yeah. of this podcast, you guys. Thank you so much for sitting through that. <laughs> oh man. It's a tough life for Tati. Yeah. When we come back, we're going to talk about other shit. We're going to talk yeah. about uh, 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 more technical things. Okay. See you in a bit. If you're watching this video, the next video is here or maybe here. It could be either way. It's there. See. Chemistry is all gang. Gujarati log sab se best hote. We're just plugging in our community at whatever chance we get. <laughs> What a weird thing for the episode also to open to. <laughs> just me saying Gujarati <laughs> log. <laughs> Oh man, uh, do you enjoy the fact that like we always talking Gujarati? Yes. Uh, when we meet yes. otherwise. Yes. Um, and uh, uh, I don't think other communities do this. Like I've seen Bengali comics just hanging out. Yeah. They're not talking to each other in Bengali for no reason. Yeah. But even around people, like if we're talking, it just immediately switches. Is that a? I think that's a, that's a community thing. That's a Guju thing. I think uh, I've seen Maharashtrian comics talk to each other in Marathi. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I don't think that's my choice. <laughs> not I'm married to Maharashtra. I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> <laughs> But his surname is Gujarati, so it's okay. Yeah, it is. Uh, uh, a lot of people think he's uh, Gujarati, and yeah. then uh, my mom used to be a, a Desai, Gujarati Desai. Yes. So hence. Yeah. But uh, it's cool. Uh, Desai is in Gujarat. Are uh, good call. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what even my dad says. Good call. He, yeah, that is a man of my father's dreams. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I feel that you do more effectively um, than probably eighty-five percent of the comics I see on a regular basis. I think two things. One is you kill way harder than most people. Uh, uh, fucking, if you've not seen Sonali kill, you need to see Sonali. Like, just oh my god. Like I rem- like following you was a pain in the ass sometimes, which, which is I say that with sincere <laughs> admiration. Like he, like oh my no, god, no dude, fuck I'm off, so dude. proud of you. But sometimes no, I you know what happens every time I have to follow you, I have to be like, so Sonali has a point of view, <laughs> and I will give you the counterpoint of the view because you do all like we have similar lot of similar spaces when it comes to yes. male female relationships. Yeah. But you crush way harder with them. <laughs> No, I don't. It's, but yeah, we do have like it's like if we can, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's like this is my point of view, and if the audience members have to hear us one after the other, like, and this is the same experience happening to both of them. <laughs> and then I have to somehow sometimes I have to clarify. Like at the end of, I remember once we were doing IBC Vikram Jit, we were both opening yes, for, and yeah. you got on and you went on, and then I literally you left. Yeah, I literally point for point countered your set. Yeah, and then at oh, the fuck, I should have been there because yeah. I left for another spot immediately. And then I said, uh, "Ki uh, any achara to go pick up my wife from her next spot." And I left. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. So they were so convinced. <laughs> uh, oh man, but that's the one thing I think killing, and I don't think that's something you can teach. I think that comes from the fact that you genuinely give a fuck about the craft. Yeah. You, know, you would go to cities and live there for a while, do mics there for a while, yeah. and you can say that it's an excuse to travel. But you know, nobody is going to Delhi for a week. Uh, <laughs> and and just traveling in Delhi, yeah. you know, in the meantime, you are doing what you are doing, open mics. Yeah. Uh, the second thing, though, is how in- effectively you are managing. Just you manage your social media. I mean, uh, there, there's just like Facebook, Insta, and Twitter. Honestly, like that's a lot. Yeah, like I I don't have that YouTube, which is a lot of work. And so, in comparison to a lot of comics managing YouTube, these three are. Um, Uh, yeah, but yeah, but yeah, I do. But I do. You understand? You do it so well that yeah. Yeah, a lot of people are doing just yeah. the three, okay? Yeah. But they're not selling tickets, Sonali. <laughs> I feel like uh, Insta started for me with travel, hmm. which was like, hey guys, look, I went here yeah. and uh, following with hashtags. Which is then, hilarious because t- couple of my friends when I told them I'm interviewing you, they thought you're a travel blogger. Yeah, I have. I I went for a party once, and who told me, dude, I love your travel photos. He follows me because of my travel, and I'm like, oh my god, there are people who don't know I'm a comic. Fuck that, but they follow me because of my travel photos. What do you say? Um, so that's it. Started with that, mm. and then um, I also uh, do 
yoga so i put up these yoga videos uh, because i'm which, like which i think the funniest <laughs> thing in that yoga video i think if the idiots would just read the caption they would be like, oh ye comic hai yeah. cuz it's just so <laughs> hilarious yeah they are like they try but i don't think anybody reads the caption <laughs> it's just me and my three friends who are reading it um but yeah i feel like uh, the key to selling social media is fun like and twitter has always been like a area where i put up jokes to right. like test the material like i do that sometimes what do you feel it's too narrow a, a it is sense? but it gives me the exercise to kind of keep writing right like so I'll, like in the day i'll sit and write like 30 jokes and then i'll schedule like 10 and i will put it up like oh, wow. that is i do that as a like i'm not as regular as i would like in my head i think yeah. i am but i will do that at least 3 times a week right and uh, have so many so that's what i that's what i do for twitter and then on facebook i just copy paste right. what i yeah, do on twitter cool. yeah but uh, i feel like the key to for me to selling tickets was always like they'll see you at a show yeah people will see you at a show and then they'll follow you yeah. on instagram and then that, that doesn't actually happen i hope but, but i feel like if you're performing in a 30 seater hmm. two people will follow you yes and then if you're doing 330 seaters in a day then six people will follow yeah. you and dheere dheere boon boon se sagar banta hai yeah but aapka aisa boon boon nahi hai abhi to balti dal rahe log i mean i would say like it's no let's not pretend like this is a fucking man it was clear ho gaya there's genuine thought and intelligence here like you're 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 putting up stuff you're incre- like you're you're aiming for engagement yeah. you're so i mean yeah so i plan it i plan yeah. my social media and uh, with instagram swipe up is a big uh, it's an effective tool in selling tickets right but i feel like the the but people are coming to my instagram because i'm doing live shows right so the key honestly the root key is to do as many live shows as possible do you plug yourself at these live shows nahi na so if i'm doing a big solo if i'm doing like if i'm doing like a solo at the end of the month or at the then i will at all those shows if i've done a spot and the spot is done hmm. well then i will plug in my solo hmm. um that hey guys if you like what i did for 10 yeah. minutes over here there is an hour show that i'll be doing at right. this place of course which is what i started doing like in the last few months right uh, and i think that helps yeah. uh, and I, even if that doesn't i mean you never know like i was having a conversation with uh, amit tandan and he i remember told me that for marketing your show you have to do like 30 things yeah. and three things will work yeah. those three things will be a combination of multiple other things yeah. and i feel like because i don't put up uh, with stand up clips i feel like i go the extra mile to see to what else works. In the other, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I'll do that. I'll do as many spots as possible. I'll see who is doing what show where. If suppose you're doing a show, you know how yeah. many times. Like yeah. I'll ask you if I can open up, yeah. open for you. Um, I'll see. I'll make the most of as many opening opportunities yeah. I'll get. Uh, once I opened for uh, Rohan Joshi before a special, mm-hmm. and the spot went well. So I had flyers of my solo ready. and i flyered for my show yeah. after um the that makes you and navin the only comics i know who bothered flyering in india yeah he he said yeah. three three comics got to fly oh. for his special ka recording oh nice outside national college ooh yeah. oh yeah he told me he told yeah. me yeah 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 i asked, i told I, i told him i'll come with you also and fly with you also but then i think some show shit happened and i couldn't go but okay. i think this is a great idea yeah I think it's a, I I learned this from Melbourne. Uh I saw in Melbourne like all the comics were just flying the fuck out of the show dude. Yeah. And even we flyed for a couple of days our show and you went for Asia zone? Uh Comedy Zone Asia. Yeah. yeah. Comedy zone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um but, and flying is so normal over there. Yeah. Um and I'd read about this in a lot of stand up books that we read like you know all these comics in their heydays would like bark it was called barking yeah uh, i yeah, that's what i when i went to new york that's what they were they still called that like yeah, we still bark yeah so i just thought like we are in such a good zone that we don't have to do that to market our shows yeah but i feel like that's also another way to try and see if it works yeah i've not done it way too many i've not done it a lot of times but i think that that's also another thing i would do to sell tickets and uh, i would whenever i would get an opportunity i would tell my friends to announce at their shows jahan pe bhi 20 log aur zyada ho main bolti ki please mera solo and yeah, yeah, announce yeah. karo sure. i don't know if it helps but you try yeah i think it makes yeah. sense yeah i feel like on you know weird one huh? yeah <laughs> say so your instagram is public yes does it mess with you that male gaze is a huge part of uh most influencers female influencers who are followed on instagram do it my so i keep seeing my insights okay and uh, my 75% of my followers are men 
and huh. 25% are women huh. <laughs> like what is happening dude and then i started putting up pictures so i re- i've been married a year hmm. and i started putting pictures of my wedding recently and i dropped 100 followers like this wow 100 followers like this and i'm trying to pacify myself i don't need you all anyway so now that's just that's just men who were in love with you oh man who have who have considered defeat that's just men who hundreds okay. of men at night i'm telling and i'm sorry i unfollowed you that day <laughs> I, <laughs> just the feel, <laughs> feelings over me like why is kuch bhi pata not liking the photo <laughs> you didn't even come for my wedding <laughs> Ah oh, shit I miss dude you know how many comic meetings I missed it breaks my heart every year I miss two three comic meetings what could do listen we both know why I missed your wedding yeah yeah yeah, yeah. No, because when she got married all comedians went which meant that there were inquiries for me to capitalize on yeah, okay that's right. so you teri shaadi mein bhi main ye karti yahi kar tu tension mat le you know what my mom said the other i think you shared a clip somewhere uh, of you doing i think it was your insta story or something I don't know Where? something it was like a punchline or something I okay. like a setup punchline of one of your jokes Okay and then I think my mom was using my dad's Instagram to stalk me Okay and then she Natural. yeah and no. then because she can't learn Instagram just to stalk me Yeah of me. course yeah uh, she does it on YouTube and Twitter <laughs> <laughs> So then she saw your this thing and uh-huh. she knows obviously she knows about you So she's like hey Sonali thoda sex sex karne lagi hai na God, that was not the impression I wanted Dina Bin to have of me. <laughs> I want, I want to redeem myself. So my mom had that genuine moment. But ये तो चित्रा लिखा में थी, like you know that. <laughs> oh man, I feel like your mom and my mom would bond so much over the fact. हाँ, आज कल छोकरा तो जो सुसु बोले चाहे आज कल. In the, yeah. my mom's case, छोकरों सुसु बोले चाहे. <laughs> Wow, way to plug in. <laughs> wow. Hey man, you got to do what you got to yeah. do, okay? Not all of yeah. us can hand out flyers. <laughs> do, yeah. do you do you feel like you'll put out a video or will it be straight to Amazon? Uh could be Netflix also. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know. Uh um, I don't know, dude. I've never felt like I've never been that inclined to put a video out because I feel like when you put a video out, I feel like people who put videos out have a goal. कि मुझे ये right. चाहिए वीडियो से आई डोंट फील लाइक आई हैव दैट गोल लाइक आई डोंट नो व्हाट डू आई वांट आफ्टर आई फील लाइक द ऑब्वियस गोल इज टू गेट मोर पीपल टू कम फॉर योर शोज बट आई एम वेरी कंटेंट विद द नंबर ऑफ पीपल दैट कम फॉर माय शोज आई ऑब्वियसली आई एम नॉट इन अ लाइक इफ आई हैव टू डू अ सोलो आई डू वन सोलो इन अ मंथ व्हिच विल एंड आई विल प्लग द हेल आउट ऑफ द शो ऑन ऑल सोशल मीडिया हैंडल्स सो इट विल टेक मी अ मंथ टू गेट लाइक 50 पीपल एट हैबिटेट राइट अ I do not have the luxury to do four solos in a month because I cannot have in, 50 people. But in four different cities, maybe. I mean, I've gone on an India tour hmm. uh, where I had people ranging, uh, where the count was ranging from 30 to 100. That's so, great. So uh, not 30. If the lowest being 20 dudes in Indore. Yeah, Indore. Uh, I mean, the first time I did Indore, it was four dudes, and uh, one of them was the uncle of the other three. <laughs> um so in that was the lowest con for me yeah. but otherwise every city that i went to i did um i did delhi chandigarh pune uh nagpur jaipur hyderabad bangalore and the three gujarat city hmm. surat baroda ahmedabad and uh, and chennai yeah. and uh, i had great like in chennai i had like 100 in hmm. pune i had like a 90 so in like hyderabad 70 80 uh like so in gujarat and delhi ranging from maybe 30, 20, 30 to 50 so which i think is de- decent enough that's for me to standard. kind of that's and, that's yeah and uh, so yeah that was the only time when i was plugging continuously to right. one i haven't done a multi city tour in a really long time now i just do club shows hmm. so if there is a club show in chennai bangalore yeah. delhi um But I had like twenty five people come in Chandigarh, which was also which is more than I got at Chandigarh, by the way. In extreme, yeah. in extreme. So, so the thing is, you I know, went. Uh, <coughs> if I may tell you my yeah. extreme horror story, uh, uh, when I did Chandigarh with extreme, it was seventeen people, fourteen of which huh. were my then girlfriend's family. Ooh. Yeah. 
and it was like Rodi's audition. Fucking and you were doing stand-up version. <laughs> and <laughs> and I was doing and I was doing get this. I was doing bear with me. A story about a guy whose an only ambition in yes. life in life is dick jokes. So he has to kill himself <laughs> on a mountain. <laughs> and how did that go? How long did the relationship last after that? <laughs> I don't know if we should talk about her right now. <laughs> yeah, long, not uh, yeah, long, yeah, yeah. Uh, not uh, uh, too long after that. If that oh. was how it was going to end. <laughs> But I think uh, yeah. So Chandigarh. But I'm. I'm. That, that's what I think is so powerful about this, right? Like, people connect to you on some level. Yeah. Uh, whether it's on that. Uh, I hope so. Yeah. I, clearly, because <laughs> you can't. You know how hard it is to get people to leave their house and come for a show. In Calcutta. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's why I've stopped doing solo shows in Calcutta. Yeah, Calcutta. I had. Calcutta. I had seventeen people. That was. Uh, that was. But th- again. I feel the thing is even if 17 people come I'm so overwhelmed with the fact that 17 people are come because they have no reason to come. Yeah. They don't there is no internet no, footprint but, of but, me. No but but I disagree. I think the 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 Instagram is a legitimate uh Yeah, but I feel like a lot of times uh like I'll get a lot of um, messages in my inbox when I put up a show link yeah. saying that uh, hey so you're performing please connect me to your YouTube video. You know, so I feel like it's it's a very no, it's a very normal. You do thing. have one video online, right? That's an Amazon brand work. Acha acha acha. So um, I feel like Amazon brand work, and you don't even have a stand-up video out. You see clearly, <laughs> like you are doing things right. Do, do you feel like management also helps in this? Like the the, the fact that you have a sound management that uh, yeah, that you're managed by people who manage so many. So then yes. they have also have more pull in this, so yes. they can also push you harder. Yes, my management uh, definitely uh, plays a role because. Um, I was on tour. I was on a fifteen, sixteen city tour with yeah. Kenny. So when you perform in an Audi, right, and you've done well in the sense, like, and the people watch your twenty, thirty minutes, yeah. and they're like, you know, hey, I liked what she did. So that creates. <clears throat> so if it, if it's an auditorium of four hundred people, and say ten people like you, ten people will get, or twenty people like you, those twenty people will get one more person, and then yeah. automatically in that city, when you come a month and a half later, yeah. you have forty people. And I'm sure there are people who end up liking, you know, I'm statistically speaking, there are always going to be people who like yours more than the main act, and they'll be like, oh, I came for this guy, but oh, the, the, I, now I found someone I really connect to as uh, well, right? Like I feel like I, I, it's not like you like more or less, but you've discovered yeah, someone. Yeah, like you. Th- that's what in that yes. sense only. Like yeah. you, you might come for this person, but you got this great new person yes. to explore. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I feel like yeah that that's always but that's always going to be when you have someone opening for you and that's the beauty of having an opening act because yeah. uh, people will always you go home with someone new to like and which yeah. is uh, which just helps because then tomorrow that person is going to do the same thing to someone else in yeah. the future. Yeah. Um so I feel like that multi city tour was also honestly the main game for me is just to hit the stage as much as possible. Hmm. You just keep gigging. There are people who have come for my shows in Delhi because he watched me at a show in Akshara three years ago do fifteen minutes, hmm. and he was like, "Oh my god, I remember her from that show. I want to see her do." You must have fucking killed hard, dude. That was a great show. Yeah. That was a great show. Uh, everyone killed very hard. Uh, yeah. That's the only show I've done uh, with Suri on the lineup. I did one with a uh, Royal Opera House, and I was telling Suri, I said, "Remember, we were on the show in Akshara, and the show was called Crazy Four. <laughs> <laughs> पॉसिबल इज द is the key honestly if you want to promote shows without getting on youtube you have to just do as many live shows just yeah. put you have to put yourself out there then if I you're not putting yourself out there on the internet i think it's more than that right it's i think the fact that you are on stage so much means that you're getting better also because yeah if i mean that i i know a lot of comics who get on stage a lot and they're yeah. not that good because they just do it the motions of it right you know there's not as nearly as much prep work i yeah. think you're doing a lot more prep work than other people also I try to in the day. I try to when there's no writing gig. I try to. I mean, you, you, I, don't we all after a point like we record our bits, we listen, listen to it, work on it, and mm. uh, I feel like uh, I feel very. I feel in a good. I feel very like like from doing one open mic 
a month because that was the only stage time you got yeah. during I bar. To and be sharing it with 34 people from yes. all the tri-state area. Yes, <laughs> yes, and to be able to do three sets a night. Yeah. Uh, why would I not want to do be yeah, that? Yeah. I just I'm so overwhelmed that I just you know it's it's such a honor to be able to do that that yeah. you know that producers even think you that that, that they're even giving you shows on that regular basis like yeah. that's a great thing. So I'm just I never imagined the scene to getting to that point yeah. that you could hop. Yeah, and and yeah. that's what I think that's right. Like we started this with gratitude. I think it. Yeah. It sort of comes back to just this feeling yes. of overwhelming gratitude. Yes. That's that's been yeah. the one thing that I've loved most about this series also. It's just like a bunch of comics getting senti for no reason. It's just <laughs> like people like literally right like, like the last four episodes we've done have just been I am so appreciative of you. I appreciate you. It's just been that. And I feel like we don't get to do this in any other uh, forum, you know. You can't be nice to someone in a green room anymore. Like you can be nice but yeah. it's always like a tag at the end. So uh, uh, yeah. thanks I, for huh. I I feel like I I don't spend enough time in green rooms as much as I should. I think it's fine only. Yeah. It, I, I, I wasn't in green rooms for two years and yeah. then next thing I know I went viral. So, <laughs> you know, uh, I think it's a decent decision to stay out of the green room. Yeah. And uh, listen to the set instead. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I feel like I've reached a level where I am, uh, I've, I've also reached like this sense of peak audience. Like I don't want more audience now. Yeah? Yeah. Now it's done. It's done. What do I tell you about the new thing? Nothing. I'll do two shows, you know. If there's no, I, I don't yeah. need to sell more tickets to make a living. Yeah. So then it's done. No, like the the goal was not to make more money. The goal was to write better jokes. Yes. So yeah. If I don't need three hundred, five hundred people to write good jokes. You, I you, saw when um you did that uh, show in, in KC College Auditorium. Yeah. And uh, Naveen was opening for you, and he had put up a picture on his stories, and I was like, "Where are you performing?" And he's like, "I'm opening for Mehta," and I was like, "Oh my God, Mehta selling out this auditorium. That is so cool." Hana, it's it's like the that moment of my life is like the most dual duality wala moment of my life, yeah. so to speak. Because yeah. My grandmom died the day before and then the tour started the day after. So, um, oh. so I think it was the Sunday it was. So, I finished her prayer meeting uh, in uh, near Chopati and then literally down the road went yeah. and did the show in like a 45 minute That's gap. Tough. And it was just, there's footage, I think Sumedh was shooting some BTS. So, yeah. literally I'm, before I'm even going on stage, I'm just in a, I'm in fetal position backstage throughout. And then as Naveen is calling me on, I'm like... Like this is it, like we like you know get into it and honestly I'm so glad I did that because yeah. like the fact that I did like that night meant so much more because yeah. that those people coming meant so much more yeah. because of the context of the situation. Oh, I know, same story in Aditi's did we all cried. It was good fun. Oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> It's okay, uh, feelings happen. Sorry to make show you... on the camera or what? I don't know, but uh, it doesn't matter because it's almost time for us to end this. <laughs> uh, we'll censor your skin. Yeah. Okay. Just pixelate it. Yeah, all, all the... I say we out of focus here at our other shot. So what is the difference? Why Sankit? Yeah, somebody uh, was talking outside saying, oh, Akash's face is out of focus. I'm yeah. like, yeah. That's just my face. That's so just... like, his hands are in focus. Yeah. Pretty hands he has. And I'm like, now you're just overcompensating <laughs> for pointing out a technical fault. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you. Uh, yeah. See, all the... Oh, entire, yeah, this guy. Like, this whole <laughs> team is only against me. <laughs> the world is against me. <laughs> hey, but thanks for coming, Sulani. I for hope I see you soon. Uh, we'll see you again tonight. At Stand Up Lab. Yeah. 10.30. <laughs> Are you doing tonight? Yeah. No, see you then. Yeah, I'll see you. <laughs> If you, oh wait, we should do this also. If you want to follow Sonali on uh, the interwebs, you are Sonali Thakkar, right? I think that's... Yeah, it's T-H-A-K-K-E-R. Huh? Yeah, T-H-A-K-K-E-R, not yeah. T-H-A-K-K-A-R. Those, Those guys, different people. Sab chore. Yeah. Huh. I don't get payment if on the check it says T-H-A-K-K-A-R, okay? Double so A-K-A-S-H. Many check. <laughs> oh my God. Single you know, I, I, on checks, people write my name as Somali and that gets cleared. But T-H-A-K-K-A-R <laughs> <laughs> you need to change branches. Somebody has the same it's first name as you with an AR surname at the back. Dude, so many times emails and like cash payments just get forwarded to Sonali Thakkar, T H A K K A R, and I'm like, what must she, she is she making like a side income, filing her return and income from other sources? Yeah. <laughs> that was oh, yeah. such a CA thing to say, right? At the end. <laughs> <laughs> help it. <laughs> you can take the CA student out of CA, yeah. but you can't take the CA out of the CA student. Well done. <laughs> And see.